This morning, my day started off really well. I got everyone off to the school bus on time, got my, my little kids off to daycare, um, I got to the gym by 8.30 in the morning, and I got like a good quick workout, um, and then on my way back to home to start you know, my real accomplishments of the day, my morning of working, um, then uh, I saw an elderly woman from my neighborhood walking home. Um, and, uh, and so I thought, you know, I have a lot to accomplish this morning, so maybe I'll walk around the long way so I don't have to walk past her and get into a conversation with her, but then I thought, you know, anyway you're walking this way, and anyway it'd be nice, you can say hello to her and smile at her. And so I did, and I hadn't seen her in a while, and I said, hi, how are you doing? And she said, I'm doing terrible. She said, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm having a problem with my spine. And with just here, I'm looking for a new doctor who will help me. And it just happened right now. It happened six weeks ago, and it's really terrible. Um, so I felt really, really bad, and I tried to, you know, listen to her and be comforting. Um, so then when I got to my place to head off towards, towards home, um, then I said, well, have a good day. And she said, well, you know what, would you mind walking me to the pharmacy? Um, and, you know, of course, like, I'm thinking of all the important things I need to accomplish this morning. But I was like, okay. I sort of secretly looked at my watch. I was like, okay, this is a mitzvah. This is important. Uh, so I was like, okay. So I gave her my arm. And we walked to the pharmacy. We walked a few stores over to the pharmacy. And then she said, oh, no, no. Not this pharmacy. The other pharmacy. Now the other pharmacy is another two blocks away. She said, well, I hope it's not too far. Of course, I'm secretly looking at my watch again, thinking of all the important things I needed to accomplish at home. I said, oh, no problem whatsoever. So I walk her the next two blocks, and I listen to, you know, what's going on with her and her, about her spine and her search for a doctor. We get there, I help her get a number, and I say, bye. And uh, so on my way back home, then I realize something. I realized that, you know, that I've been a mother for 11 years and that I'm still, I'm still defining accomplishment in, t in the same kind of, in the same terms as I would have before I was a mother. You know, before I was a mother, it was very, very important for me. I always defined accomplishments as things that are, you know, externally quantifiable. You know, you write an article, you get a PhD, you finish this project, you do things that are impressive that you can put on your resume or that you can, you know, impress people with, you know, there's a guest at your Shabbat table, you can impress them by saying, you know, you finished this project, you, you finished this project. But the thing is, as a mother, I realized in my back that it's so important, it's so important to learn to redefine accomplishment. Like, what are real accomplishments? So I think that, you know, we all know, like, a real accomplishment, like, when we sit down and we think about it, we know. A real accomplishment is not necessarily something that you can put on your CV. A real accomplishment is something that God's going to look down at you and at that moment say, you did the right thing. You know, you helped that lady walk to the pharmacy, you did the right thing. Something that God will look down at you and get nachas from you at that moment. So I think for, like as a mother, it's important for us, you know, that, that, we, that you know, like you, like you got your kids off to school without, even though you hadn't slept so well the night before, you know, you have a new baby, the baby woke you up three times, you have a few older kids to get off to school. You got everyone out the door, off to the school bus without raising your voice once. That's amazing. That's an incredible accomplishment. God is looking down at you and getting so much nachas. Or let's say it's Friday afternoon. Friday afternoon is always tense and everyone's getting ready and, you know, it's always very... It's a tough time to keep your cool. But you got through Friday afternoon without getting in an argument with your husband? That's unbelievable. God is looking down at you and getting so much nachas from you. It's unbelievable. It's more than getting a PhD. It's unbelievable. Let's say, like, you're, there's a day and, like, you're feeling tired. You don't really have the energy. You don't really want to, like, make your kids a nice lunch. But you think, you know, I'm going to invest. I'm going to take the 20 minutes and make my kids their favorite dish. Your kids come home and they know that for that amount of time, when they were at school, you were thinking about them and investing in them. And then they come home and they eat their macaroni and cheese and they feel loved because you made them this, this yummy, nutritious lunch. That's a real accomplishment. God's looking down at you and saying, wow, this Ema did the right thing. You know, good for you. 
And there's a beautiful story in the Gemara of a man, of a, of a great Torah scholar, whose son almost dies, and he has a near-death experience. He goes up to heaven, and he comes back down to the earth. And when he comes back down to the earth, and when, and sorry, when, he, comes, when he returns to life, his father asks him what he saw in heaven. And he says, you know, Abba, he says, I saw an upside-down world. The people who are up on top in this world, in the spiritual world of heaven, they're on the bottom. And the people on the bottom of our society are up on top there. And his father said, you know, you saw a clear world. So I'm bless all of us, you know, as we go about our lives. And you know, sometimes as mothers, we feel like we're on the bottom. We feel like we spend our lives doing all sorts of, you know, hundreds and hundreds of acts of kindness for other people, for our husbands, for our children, for people in our community. And we feel like we're on the bottom, but that we should remember, that we should remember to see ourselves and our accomplishments through God's eyes, and that we should remember to see a clear world. And we'll bless everyone with an amazing week. Que Shoshana <laughs>